necklace. Yeah, for oh. Halloween because I love Halloween. Do you? So I have. Ah, my t-shirt nice. is pumping. Mm -hmm. Nice. I've yet yeah. to carve a pumpkin. It's my favorite thing to do. Before the Witcher's books, uh, there are the stories where uh, we meet uh, for the first time the character of Geralt. So how did you manage this step on the TV show? And uh, how did you develop the story of a TV show? Um, you know, I had actually read the book The Last Wish before Four. I even was approached by Netflix <laughs> on a series, and it's my favorite of the novels. So to me, the, the short stories really are the foundation of our world. They mm -hmm. really set up the politics and the dynamics between characters, the world, the relationships. So it was important to me to stick with that. Um, but then the big shift that I made is I wanted to meet uh, Yennefer and Ciri really mm -hmm. early, uh, much earlier than you meet them in the books. I didn't want to hold off meeting these ladies until seasons two or three. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it was important to me to bring them up earlier in the story mm -hmm. and actually give them their own backstories and their own fully formed lives and experiences even before they meet Geralt. And uh, what is your relationship with uh, Sapolsky? He works uh, about the script, he um, see the script uh, before the, um, the scene. Of the so I had pitched him um, my sort of version of the series, how mm -hmm. I would approach it uh, really early on. And we aligned very much in, in terms of how the important, the soul of the books and the soul of the series. And we made sure that they were aligned. Um, since then, we've stayed in conversation. Um, he's visited set. He does get the scripts, but um, he'll be the first one to tell you that he doesn't really want to see, uh, this is his analogy, he doesn't want to see the ingredients of the soup before, um, he just wants to taste the soup when it's done. Mm -hmm. So he's actually going to see the show in its entirety when the rest of the world does. The characters of Yennefer and Ciri are very important for the, the Witcher saga. So, um, which... Uh, um, have you also considered uh, uh, the the, fa the the people that that, uh, that uh, who don't know the Witcher for uh, for understand uh, your character? Yeah, absolutely. I hope I hope our series reaches out to those um, those those people who aren't fantasy fans. Um, I think we have all the elements of this genre that genre in mm -hmm. in in the series, but we've also got. Themes, huge themes, which people can relate to. We've got a, a family thread um, linking everything together, which is um, which hopefully people can relate to. Your characters are two different women, very very strong and very very young. So, what is the hardest part to play this kind of character? <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I think the, the greatest challenge was. Um, in, um, in in this series, we we not only look at Yennefer's backstory, but we look at her um, the age we meet her in the books as well, and to go on the journey that she goes on, and not shooting in consecutive order um, mm -hmm. <laughs> over the period of eight months yeah. in Budapest. <laughs> no, it, it, the whole thing was a was a, a really exciting challenge. I think for me, my challenges were mostly at the beginning, just because mm -hmm. um, there's, there's such a shift in my character's life um, that that happens, in, and um, so there were some really kind of emotionally challenging scenes, and so that was quite kind of quite a, a daunting thing to have be my first my first filming be, yeah. be those scenes, um, but actually uh, it set me up perfectly for the rest of the season because it really meant that I was. Uh, I had to be in the skin of the character, you know, really right from the right from the start. Um, so it, it just it it brought me closer to my character. Mm -hmm. You know, I really felt a connection to her because of the things she goes through at the start, and um, which really allowed me to to make her even stronger. <laughs> <laughs> The Witcher is uh, very important also and very found famous also by for for the video game. So have you influenced in uh, any way from the video game for the TV show? I don't know for the story or the asset of the image. I mean, I would say that. the one thing that the video games have in common with us is that they went to the original source material. They went back to the books, and that's exactly what we did. Mm -hmm. um, the games are beautiful, um, but I don't think the show is really competition for the games. I think that people can enjoy and play the games and enjoy and watch the show mm -hmm. and uh, and see how they're slightly different versions of, of the same mm -hmm. basic, loved, you know, much-loved stories. Um, the Witcher, like uh, many literary saga, uh, has a very important fandom. So have you afraid... Uh, 
by the, the reaction of people because um, maybe the idea of uh, your characters is not the same? Uh, ultimately, I'm sure we all just want to p please those fans, and um, that's why we do what we do. But um, I wouldn't say I'm a. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of anything. I'd say I, I have only ever taken the the, the positive um, 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 response from the fans, and there is so much out there, and I'm just really excited for them to to see what we've created. Yeah, I think it's just good to approach it, you know, going, we've done everything we can mm -hmm. to portray these characters as, as, as well as as well as we can and um and and hopefully, fingers crossed, they like it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Forty two. <laughs>